you must be worried because you've missed the mortgage payment or a few mortgage payments and you're not sure or even scared wondering how many months behind on a mortgage before foreclosure actually hits right and you want to get the information needed to know how to handle things from here right you're not alone and you landed at the right space here with me in just a few moments we'll break down this pressing question step by step and i'm going to be guiding you through each crucial month and what it means for your home stay tuned and make sure to pay close attention to month number three because that's where it gets really dangerous so let's begin the foreclosure timeline together so are you wondering how many months behind on your mortgage it takes before a foreclosure becomes a reality right in general after you miss your first mortgage payment the clock starts ticking but foreclosure doesn't really happen immediately lenders understand that life happens maybe you had a medical emergency or your job situation changed or even forgot and it slipped your mind that happens to all of us when that first mortgage payment is missed it's like setting a small alarm bell off for your lender but it's important to know that everyone can have an off month maybe you forgot or there was a banking glitch lenders get that hence the first reminder is often gentle during this time it's good to double check your finances maybe it's time to set up that auto pay or a calendar reminder for future payments however if you realize that making the payment is going to be a genuine problem due to unforeseen challenges it's better to be alert now being proactive can save you a lot of headaches later after the first missed payment you typically receive a notice or a phone call from your lender this is a friendly reminder, so don't be too alarmed. They just want to check in to see if it was perhaps a simple oversight or if there's really something more serious going on that they want to know about. If you reach the second month without making a payment, things start to get a bit more serious. You usually have about 30 days known as the cure period to make up for the missed payment. By the time the second months rolled around, lenders might now be thinking if there's a bigger problem here, a demand letter isn't a you're in big trouble note, this time reminding you of the gravity of the situation. If you're receiving such a letter, don't panic, but also don't ignore it because ignoring might signal to the lender that you're not taking the responsibility very seriously and instead open a line of communication even if it's just to explain the situation. At this time, it would be very wise to take a deeper look at your finances and the capabilities to catch up on your missed payment as well as making the current payment that's due. Think about beginning to talk to and seek advice from professionals that understand what you're going through and take this proactive approach to learn and understand about all the possible available options that might be available to you in case you can't catch up with your payments. If you need help or information on who should you contact, you are welcome to ask me in the comments below or better yet, contact me directly and I'd love to offer you a helpful hand and point you to someone who can actually help you. Now, if you hit the third month without payment, the risk of foreclosure becomes more imminent. Depending on where you live and who your lender is, foreclosure proceedings may begin after 90 days of missed payments. This doesn't mean they'll kick you out immediately, thank God, right? Foreclosure is a lengthy process and can take months. Reaching the third month without sorting the mortgage payment issue is a bit like hearing warning sirens. This is often the point where formal foreclosure proceedings can actually begin, depending on your jurisdiction, of course. But remember, foreclosure is a process, it's not an event. The bank doesn't really want to seize your house. They'd much rather prefer you keep it and continue paying your mortgage. If you found yourself at this three months mark, Consider seeking advice from a housing counselor or even a financial advisor. They can help you understand your options and might even assist you in negotiating with your lender. During these months, it's essential to communicate with your lender. They might offer solutions like loan modifications, repayment plans, or forbearance. Remember, it's in their best interest too for you to stay in your home and keep paying your mortgage. 
The key takeaway that I want you to take from this video is you owe it to yourself and your family to know all the options that are available to you early on. The sooner you begin to learn the process, the more options will be available to you. Foreclosure should never ever be an option. If you're struggling with payments, don't wait. Reach out to your lender early and explore your options. There might be more help available than you think. Communication is key. Throughout all these stages, communication remains your strongest ally. Lenders deal with countless borrowers all the time and those who communicate proactively and honestly always fare better. Even if you're unsure of how to make ends meet, showing that you're actually actively trying to find a solution can make all the difference. Remember, your lender might have tools or programs to assist borrowers in distress, but they can't help if they don't know what's going on, right? So pick up the phone, write that email, or schedule that meeting. Your future self will thank you. I want to remind you of something super, super important. You've got options probably even more than you realize. You know, you're not the only one going through this. Lots of people face the same hiccups and they've come out stronger on the other side. So chin up, stay hopeful, okay? Chat with others who've been there and always stay in the know. With some grit and the right advice, you'll find your way through. If you are having trouble with your mortgage, don't keep it to yourself. Chat with me, it won't cost you a penny. And trust me, two heads are better than one. We can figure things out together and find the best way to keep your home safe. Every problem has a solution and we'll find yours too. Starting early will ensure there are multiple options that can be available for you and your specific hardship. If you're in the top spot or if you know someone who is, remember, I'm here. My whole goal is to help folks like you keep their homes and to help everyone feel more confident about the foreclosure process. That's what this channel is all about. Tips, support, advice, and a big community hug. If today's chat helped you even just a little bit, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Share this with someone you know that might need help also. This way, you won't miss out on any advice or tips. Speaking of which, the next topic I'm actually working on is chatting about the mortgage late payment. And trust me, it's a big one. So come on over, be part of my crew, and let's tackle these challenges head on. Catch you on the next one.